What's up everybody? Master King Chef J. Rye here and I appreciate you guys watching. Today we're going to do my take on a classic side item for Thanksgiving. We are going to be doing my world famous cornbread dressing. So if I was you guys, I would not go anywhere. Alright, so you guys already know how to make cornbread because that's what I did in my last video. Except with this cornbread, you don't add the pumpkin puree, okay? So what I have here is my cornbread. Now, whatever cornbread you use will be fine. But we just made regular old cornbread. I'm going to show you guys what to do with that later. Here I have a medley of herbs and spices and veggies. Carrots, celery, peppers, onions. I have some sage, some bay leaves. I got some herbs. And then I also use chicken. I poach chicken for my dressing. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And we're gonna make our own chicken stock. How about that? So you guys stay right there and we're gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So it's the holidays. And you know when it's the holidays, people just drop by. They come by and see how you're doing. So I got my brother-in-law here from Jacksonville, man. Nice to have you, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And my brother gonna help me out with this cornbread dressing. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna take the cornbread that we made and bro, all I want you to do is just take it and break it into big pieces. Because what we're gonna do is to get a crouton take of this, we're gonna take this cornbread and we're gonna put it back in the oven so it can get crispy, so it can be able to hold all the stuff we're gonna do with it. All right, so we'll just go ahead and break those up real good. Okay, so while he's doing that, you guys gonna meet me on the other side. We're gonna saute some vegetables. We're gonna sear off the chicken to make the dressing for it. And then we're gonna get started. So we'll be right back guys. All right, appreciate that man, nice job on that. So what you're gonna do is put this in the oven. The oven is at 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for about 10 minutes because we want it to get nice and hard. So go ahead, bro, and put that in the oven. And then what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make the chicken, the chicken stock for this. So what we got here is water. This is about one gallon of water. And when you do this, you wanna use two tablespoons per one gallon. And then what you can do is you can taste it and you can adjust the flavor. This is compact with a lot of flavor. It's chicken base and, and a little bit of salt. So go ahead and mix that together. Then you guys, after while he does that, I'm going to be on the other side of the kitchen and then I'm going to uh, start searing off the chicken and we're going to use this chicken stock that my brother is making to finish off the dressing. So yes, yeah, so just add that in there and you see how it's starting to turn colors, man. This is looking good already. Let me do one more. Let me do one more. So if you guys want to go ahead and buy your own, but I suggest you use this. Come on, if you go ahead and look at it, it's a roasted chicken base. You can buy it at any local supermarket. So my brother made this up. Go ahead and taste it for me, and if it needs a little bit more, let me know and we'll put it in there. Good? Look good. good. All right, so what we're going to do now it's gonna go on the other side of the kitchen. We're gonna sear off some chicken and some vegetables, and then we're gonna add the chicken stock to that, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're over here, we're gonna sear off the chicken, and then we're gonna add some vegetables to it to build flavors inside the chicken breast. So go ahead and add some oil in there for me. All right, give me a little bit more. Make sure you get a nice amount. There we go, and that's olive oil. And then we're gonna take this, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, man, you cannot make dressing without grandma hand seasoning. I keep telling you guys, this stuff is so legit. www.grandmahandseasoning.com Man, this stuff would change your life. Look, I'm not lying to you. I use it, it's like my third bottle. So I'm gonna take some of this grandma hand seasoning and just add it on my chicken breast, just like that, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do, mix this up, all right? And then we're gonna sear it off. We got carrots, celery, sage, rosemary, onions, and peppers. And what we're gonna do is add that to that. Once it's seared on one side, we're gonna flip it over. Then we're gonna add the chicken stock and we're gonna let that simmer for like an hour. Once that's cool, we're gonna tear it off the bone and we're gonna add it to our uh, cornbread Corn dressing. Okay. Yes, sir. So we're gonna sear this off, let this get hot in there. Go ahead and add that in there.
Looking good, guys. Looking good. And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit more of that seasoning. And then we're just going to let that go for a little bit. Now, that's just the chicken part of it. Okay. Here, I have another pan. Now, in this pan, the veggies we're going to use is going to get be actual a part of the dressing. So, where's the olive oil? You have the olive oil? Add some olive oil to that. All right. Here we have onions. We have celery. We have carrots. And we have red bell peppers. Okay. Now, what I need you to do, bro, is go ahead and hit that with some salt and pepper if you don't mind. Yeah. Now, what the salt and pepper does, because you don't want to do too much to the vegetables, it makes it, it wicks up the natural flavors of any vegetable that you cook. So anytime you make vegetables, you add salt and pepper. That's just the foundation. I gotta get a little bit more heat on this. So I'm gonna saute this up, add it to my cornbread mix, sear this off, flip it over, add the chicken stock. You gotta stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, so go ahead and look at that. That's exactly what you're looking for when you're searing off chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that looks really good. So we're gonna sear off one more side, and then we're gonna add that chicken stock. Over here, we're gonna add garlic, and then we're gonna take rosemary. And most people have a problem taking the leaves off. All you gotta do is hold it upside down and run your fingers down like that, and it comes right off. Most people don't know that. So now, I'm just gonna continue to saute. Like that there. Now, we added the garlic because we don't want the garlic to burn. All right, so now we can turn this off because this is actually gonna cook inside the dressing. Now, go ahead and add some of the uh, chicken stock that you made for this. Pour it in there. Just pour it in there, yes sir. Dump it on in there. Yes sir. All this for dressing, man. And now down there, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cover it up and let that simmer for like 45 minutes. It's gonna be falling off the bone. All right, this is pretty much done. And then once the chicken is done, like I said, we're gonna tear it off the bone and we're gonna add it to the cornbread that we put in the oven. We live. Yeah. But man, I think everything ready for us to put together, man. So what I need you to do is bring that chicken over Lift up that pan so they can see it. He's gonna bring the chicken over, and I'm gonna go in and grab the cornbread. Oh man, yeah. Man, if you guys can smell that, I promise you, you guys will wanna jump through that screen. We're gonna move this out of the way. Now, bro, I need you to go ahead and just pull the chicken pieces, pull each chicken out and put it on that, uh, Thing right there. Plate. Yes. While he's doing that, I just want to talk about the cornbread. Okay. So you see how this is nice and crunchy? Because what we're going to do is once he pulls that chicken out, we're going to let it cool. We're going to tear the chicken off. Then we're going to strain the chicken broth from here. And then we're going to grab our vegetables that we saute. Okay. And all this is going to go together. We're going to put it all in this pan right here. We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna bake it in the oven. This dressing is gonna be straight fire. I hope you're ready, man. Yep. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're gonna do it. Hey guys, don't forget, go to my website, www.masterkingchefjred.com. All right, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna tear the chicken off the bone, man. It's really easy, right? It's already nice and tender and full of flavor. I'm just gonna tear this off the bone and then we're gonna add all of our stuff together. So stick around. All right, so we took the chicken off the bone. You can tear it off with your hand or you can use a fork. And then I just took it and chopped it up a little bit more. So that's the chicken. What I'm gonna do now is take that stock that you helped me make, and then we're now we're just gonna strain it in here. All right, we're gonna strain it in there, and that's gonna catch all the extra stuff so it don't go inside of our dressing. And then, look at all that flavor right there. What we're gonna do now, brother, is take this and mash out all that Make sure we get all that good flavor out of there. All right. Now we're gonna take the cornbread right there. We're gonna add it to that pan. All right. And we just add it in here so we can have a foundation to mix it on. Yeah. So just bring that over and just dump it in there like that. See how nice and crispy that is. That's exactly what you're looking for. That 
is the beginning right there. So then, bro, what I need you to do is add those up. There you go. See, you already know. Here you go. Add those vegetables to that. Just sprinkle it, just dump it right on in. Oh, look at my bro, the chef. Get all that out of there, man. You know, we gotta get all that. That's like 22 cent worth of vegetables. You gotta get it all out. All right. How good is this look already? Then we take the chicken, we add the chicken in there. All right, so go ahead and sprinkle those herbs in there. And then we got some sage that we're gonna chop up and add in here. And then we're gonna just slowly add the chicken stock in here. We add it a little bit at a time because remember guys, always add a little bit at a time because you add too much, you can't take it out. But if you add a little bit at a time, you can make the adjustment. So now we just mix this up really well. Now we're gonna bake this again. See, now it's starting to look like dressing, right? Add this in there like this. Then we're gonna get some of that sage that we got in the refrigerator because you can't have a dressing without sage. Add that in there. Just keep adding that in there. Man, this is all homemade stuff. And then we're gonna add some stage, sage to this, man. So what I need you to do is keep mixing that, add a little bit more uh, stock to it. And then what I did was took fresh sage, took it off of the stem, right? And then I'm gonna roll it really, really tight. There you go, bro, just keep stirring it up. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna what we call chiffonade. That's just a fine, a fancy word for julienne. I'm gonna take this sage, just like that, and cut it, and then I'm gonna fold the sage into the dressing. Again, I'm gonna roll this really tight, and the sage is so unique, man, and it goes perfect with dressing. I cannot wait to sink my tea into this dressing. I can't go a week, uh, a holiday without making this dressing, man. Everybody asks me to make it for them. You know, and they really like it. So now I'm gonna take the sage. All right, bro, that looks really good. Now we talking. So now I'm gonna take this sage right here, just sprinkle it in there, all right? Sprinkle it all around in there just like that. And go ahead and fold it in. And then what we're gonna do, did you taste it yet, bro? No, not yet. All I right, can't wait though. Taste it a little bit, see if we need to add anything to it. Man, that is so good. It has great flavor. What I think I'm gonna do is add a little bit of spice to it, give it a little kick, maybe some cayenne. I'm gonna add a little cayenne to it, transfer it to this pan, bake it in the oven, and we're gonna enjoy some of this nice dressing. Man, nice job, man. I mean, I tasted this, it looks really good. You know what we did too? We added some sage on top, right? What's gonna happen when we put that in the oven, that sage is gonna get nice and crunchy. And what we can do is crush it up when we eat it. Get sage as we please. So what we're gonna do now is put this in a 370 degree oven, 375, can't leave out five degrees. Put it in the oven for 25 minutes, okay? We're gonna do it uncovered and let this so you guys know I got my bro Donnell Phillips here from Jacksonville, Florida. He got gloves on, y'all know what that mean? That means it's ready to pull that dressing out of him. Go ahead, bro. Oh, man. You ever made something like that before? Oh, no. Well, you gonna learn today. <laughs> he done learned today. Man, look at this dressing, man. This thing is so packed with flavor from beginning to the end, from making the cornbread, to sauteing the vegetables. We even made our own chicken stock, man, who does that? Man, so we're talking about building flavor. So you can go ahead and get a little taste of that, man, and let the people out there, let the 36,000 subscribers and the millions of people watching know what it tastes like. Cause we are, uh, we live right here, man. This is real cooking. I like that. What you taste? Have it. Oh man, oh, yeah. heaven is a beautiful place. All right, so let me go ahead and get in here. Wow. <laughs> man, I'm so glad I ain't gonna share this with y'all. Man, you get that flavor from that chicken base, and then those vegetables come together so well, the onions, the celery, the carrots, I mean, sage. the sage. There you go, you get all that. Then we took our time and poached and simmered that chicken. 
and it's so tender in there. Then we topped it off with some more sage. It has herbs in there, some parsley, some oregano. This is so good. You guys already know, that is fire right there. That is straight fire. And one more thing I forgot to mention. I didn't forget, but I'm gonna say it one more time. This dressing would not be this good without this grandma's hand seasoning. I'm gonna give you a bottle of taking back to Jacksonville. Please. All right, www.grandmahandseasons.com. It'll change your life. Oh man, we going back in? All right, go ahead on, bro. You gotta say something, man. You got people coming over, man. You get all the dressing. <laughs> oh, <good> now. <laughs> oh, man. Remember, guys, always keep God first in your life, and everything will fall into place. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.